I, I mostly I think he's associated with TU hoops. But how far back do you go? Yeah, I tell you when this first happened. So it would have been uh, I first met Coach roughly 1986, and I would wow. go over. Uh, I was a head coach at Bishop Kelly High School, and we would go to the TU games. Everybody's a TU fan uh, in Tulsa. Even when I was coaching at ORU, I was a TU fan. I rooted for him to win every game but one. But uh, I'll never forget going to the first game and, and as a high school coach. And I saw this guy down on the baseline just coaching his tail off. And I, you know, I go, who is this guy? And then, of course, everybody said, well, that's coach. And it wasn't David. No one knew him as David. Everybody just knew him. That was coach. And it's ironic that I got to see him coach before I entered into the realm of college coaching. And I'll never forget, you know, there's two stories I want to share with you. But the first story is, uh, you know, I would see Coach in the neighborhood. Coach worked at a grocery store not far from where we lived. Okay. And so every time I'd see him, it was just, Coach, how you doing? And, and we would talk. And every time I would introduce him, I would introduce him as one of the TU basketball coaches. And he would just light up like a Christmas tree. He just, he loved that in all aspects. But it was funny because when I was a coaching at, when I was coaching at Oral Roberts, I would introduce my team to coach, okay. hoping that he may slack off a little bit of me during the game. But little did I know when the ball would go up, he'd be on me like a cubby of quail, like a bird dog on a cubby of quail, he'd be all over me. <laughs> he would coach. The, the biggest thing, he probably got most of his annex, in all honesty, from J.D. Barnett. I've heard that, yeah. That's where maybe he got his annex because he would squat down and he would pace back and forth. Uh -huh. and his attire got better uh, after Steve Robinson and Bill Self coached at Tulsa because J.D. wasn't the greatest of dressers, but Coach's attire picked up after those two guys. Oh, and then, my gosh. <laughs> my favorite story uh, to this day, uh, we were at the grocery store one night, my daughter and I, Tiffany, and uh, she couldn't reach something at the top. And Coach saw it. And I just watched it from the corner of my eye. And Coach came down there and got what she was wanting at the top of the shelf and gave it to her. And then I walked up and I said, Tiffany, do you know who this is? And she goes, no. And I said, this is Coach. And she was so young at that time. And I, and I said, Coach works over it. Uh, he helps Tulsa basketball. And uh, it was just one of those moments to see him light up yeah. and the smile on his face. And when we walked off, she turned around and said, thanks, Coach. And uh, it was one of my favorite moments. But I will say this. You know, it, 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 we, we often look at death in so many different ways. And today, if we could sit here and literally see and celebrate what Coach did, not only to the fans of TU, but for what he, for what he did wherever he carried himself, he lived every great, every day to its fullest. He changed people's lives with his attitude. Mm -hmm. And he wore a coat and tie every single day, everywhere he went. But he made an impact on people's yeah. lives. And what more can we say about our life? So what a great honor and what a great tribute he was to us. And to this day, we honor him. That's awesome. That's awesome. I None of that needs to be touched up, but it, just to maybe continue the conversation a little bit. I talked to Jason Shackelford today. Coach had read, he used to work at Channel 2. I don't know if you met Jason or remember him at all, but um, Coach had read that he was getting married in the Tulsa world and contacted Jason and asked, you know, if he could be there. And he was the first guy at the church, you know, dressed in the full suit and everything when Jason got there. And Jason said that, you know, if there was a big uh, trial in town or whatever, he might be at the courthouse. Like he was... He was a part of his community. He loved his community. He had that really positive attitude. And um, it, I, I think a great lesson for so many of us, we all have whatever we have, whatever giftings we have, whatever limitations we have in life. But if, if you would attack life, if you live life with a certain kind of attitude, and if you care about your community, which is the great thing about Coach, he cared about his community and engaged. And like, that's just a great lesson for all of us. We can all live our life in that way, wherever we are. Isn't it amazing that even in coach's shortcomings, he was the, he was the smartest. Yeah. Yeah. He was the smartest one of all for all of us yeah. and gave us a great lesson. Absolutely. Absolutely. And he, 
love to talk ball. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, uh, I mean, whatever it was, wherever I went at a Bishop Kelly game, if I saw him, he was, you know, talking Bishop Kelly, but then also the Tulsa football game the next day. And he was also, you know, always asking you about whatever TU hoops had coming up. It, it, one last thing, and because I'm sure you witnessed this, um, he affected the crowd, which affects games. Like he got crowds going and fired up. That was a real thing. I don't know if any one person in the building mattered more to, you know, getting a TU crowd whipped into a frenzy than him. And he was at his best, you know, for the biggest games. Like he took- No, it no question. Level. No question. Let me, let me quote my wife. Cause I had to, I had to call my wife and tell her this morning what had happened. And, and uh, she was, you know, our daughter Tiffany let us know. And then I called my wife. But my wife said, I can remember him, how much hell he used to give us when we played him. And that goes back to ORU and Southwest Missouri State. And you're right. There's, I don't care what cheerleaders they had, male or female, no one, <laughs> no one was a better cheerleader than Coach.